Now crew, I have another breast cancer awareness set for you guys. And this one is part of a collab. So once you're done here, please check my description box and check out all the lovely ladies in this playlist and make sure you show them some love and support. Thank you guys so much. All right, let's get on with the video. All right, now crew, welcome back. Welcome back, guys. I have Miss Tuesday here all ready to go. Her forms are already on. And now I'm about to go in with my prep and clean dehydrator. I use this stuff all the time. And you guys already know I say this every single time I talk about it. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. You could actually make your own. And I do have a video on how to make your own. I'll link that below. So once the dehydrator dries, I like to go in with my primer. The primer I'm using today is from Mia Secret, and I'm also going to use Mia Secret Acrylic and Mia Secret Monomer. I don't think I've used Mia Secret in a while. Have I? I don't think I have. So I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and pull Miss Mia Secret out. Me and her go way back. She works very well, y'all. Even though she is not just a professional only product and anyone could buy her on Amazon and eBay, she does work very well. She really does. So don't sleep on Miss Mia Secret. Also, she dries, let's say, she dries like a medium type of drying speed, medium to slow drying speed. Not as slow as Enel Couture. Not as slow as that acrylic system, but definitely slow enough to where if you're new and you need time to play with your acrylic, you need time to smooth it out so it doesn't dry bumpy and lumpy, this system actually gives you time to do that. So as you can see, I left this in real time. I'm not gonna show me doing this to all the nails because then we'll be here till tomorrow. But I just definitely wanted to leave one nail in real time like this so you could see the acrylic does not dry too soon and you could really just play with it and mold it and just get it the way you want it to be. So basically what I'm doing is just building tips. I don't think I've ever showed you guys me doing it this way before, but I do it sometimes, especially on real people. So basically I just built tips. That's all I did. And let me move all this crap out the way. I don't want to knock it over y'all know I'm clumsy so now <laughs> I let the acrylic dry and I'm just pulling off the forms I didn't do anything at the nail bed I just built tips that's all I did so if you're not good at using forms and you find that when you put the forms on they tend look at that look oh my goodness <laughs> you find that the forms tend to fall off a good thing that you could do or easy thing for you to do is just build a tip and then i'm just showing you guys here that this one isn't dry yet so i'm just gonna let that sit but what you could do is just build tips with your nail forms right take them off and look at that look it looks like you glued on tips on your client or on yourself right and then you would go from here and just build your nails the way you normally would so the acrylic that i'm going to use is actually a dip powder from sparkling co and this color is called flamingo it is so pretty so pretty you guys are you tired of the color pink yet uh, october is like it's just pink October is pink, guys. I'm sorry. You have the birthstone of the Libras, which is pink. And then you have breast cancer awareness. That color is also pink. So I'm sorry, guys, that you guys are getting overloaded by this color. I promise after today, I'll do like maybe, like don't get crazy, but I'll do a few sets without pink, okay? I ain't gonna promise too many, but I will skip the color pink in the next few sets okay just so you don't feel like oh my gosh i'm going crazy all right so i also have this glam and glitz i have two actually and uh they both look like they would match with what i'm trying to do so let's just open them and look and let's just decide i'm, I'm definitely not going to use both of these glitters um i don't know which one though they both are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm mad I got a small one. <laughs> I'm mad I got a small one and a large one. I feel like I should have got two of the same size. Because <laughs> why did I do that? Why did I get one large, one small, man? I should have got them the same size. So I'm not like freaking out about it. I don't know. I get crazy like that sometimes. But anyway, this is what they look like. So beautiful. So beautiful. So... I think I'm gonna go with this one here on the right. 
yeah let's just go with that one that one I feel like matches a little bit better with what I'm trying to do and I just want to show you guys my old well it's not really that old but my previous breast cancer awareness set isn't she gorgeous I love this set guys I love this set. I haven't even taken it off of the little stand yet. I've just been leaving it as a display. I really love that set. And the last time I did a breast cancer awareness set, I started crying. I had to stop the tape. I had to like calm down. It was a big thing, guys. I was really in my feelings. I promise that this video, I will not cry. I will not cry. I'm not going to think of anything negative. So that set was for my mom who passed away. This set is going to be for the survivors. So this is a happy set. Okay, this is a happy set. We're going to think happy thoughts. And I'm dedicating this to everyone who has had breast cancer and you beat it. Oh my God, like yeah, you are strong. <laughs> like you are mentally and physically strong because there's no way to get over something like cancer oh my gosh and just make it out on the other side and just be here living like oh my god like hats off to you hats off to you and for anybody who has had to deal with a loved one who has had cancer it is equally as hard on that person because you're watching someone you love suffer man i can't do it man that's hard and you know that's why my mom when she found out she had cancer, that's why she didn't tell anybody. That's why she suffered alone and she went through that alone because she knew that it would have been equally as hard or more so hard on us watching her deteriorate than it is for herself to actually go through it. So, I mean, she's a tough lady, God. I got to tell you guys, she's tough. So, yeah, so this set is for the survivors and for the family members who went through it with that person. So hats off to you guys. I love you guys just for being you and just for being strong. Like, whoo, all right. So what I'm doing here, guys, this set, this video is gonna be short. Yeah, I think this is just gonna be a quick set because even though I'm trying to keep this video positive and upbeat, you know what? I don't want to take a chance of getting in my feely feels, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to get straight to the point and try to make a beautiful set of nails to represent all the survivors. But I'm gonna be in and out. I'm gonna be in and out with this video, in and out with this set. So we just gonna get it and we just gonna get it and go, okay? We getting it and then we going, that's what we doing. So I wanna show you guys what I did here. So when I added the ombre, the second color, that darker pink, I added too much of it and it came over way too far on the light pink and I didn't like that. So I added more of the light pink and I faded it backwards. So did you see what I did there? Let me let me add it again. I'm gonna add another clip in and I'll slow it down. All right, so here we go. The dark pink came over just too far, in my opinion, over the light pink. So I'm just adding the light pink again, just a little bit, and I'm fading it backwards just so it blends a little bit better. So for me, I felt like that gave it more of a blend, a faded look, an ombre look that I liked. So if you guys ever mess up on your ombre, you know what I mean? Like, don't despair. You could always fix it. So now I'm on to my ring finger and I want to show you guys how to correct something else. So you see, if you look, let me give you a look. Let me close up. All right. So I had to give you guys a close up. So the side of this nail went in too much, guys. I did not like that. You know what I mean? So I'm going to show you guys how you could correct that. You need a relatively dry bead for this. So if you pick up a bead that's too wet, you just lay it on the paper towel, let it soak up some of the monomer, but you need a dry bead. Otherwise, it's, it's just not going to work. You're going to make a mess. And all you do is lay it on the side of the nail. This is why the bead has to be dry. If it's wet, it's going to drip here it's gonna drip all over the place it's just gonna be like all over the nail and it won't work but all you do is kind of like almost like you're laying bricks and you're just going to lay little beads of acrylic to the side of the nail until it goes out more you know what I'm saying do you see what I'm trying to do here I'm trying to build up the side of the nail because I guess when I had the form on maybe the form wasn't straight or whatever and so the left side of the nail kind of tilted in. But it's fine because we could easily fix that. 
we could easily fix it. All I'm doing is adding little bits of acrylic on. And I've actually had to do this on a client. So she had her first set was, I want to say tapered square, but it was so tapered that it was borderlining on stiletto. You know what I mean? Like it was really, really tapered. Um, and then the next time she came in, she wanted square. Well, I didn't have time to do a whole full set on her. I had no time. So I just rebuilt the nail, just like I showed you guys. That's what I did. Now it took a long time because I had to do all 10 nails like that. It took a long time, but it was a lot shorter doing it that way than for me to soak off her nails and then start from scratch. So that's a quick thing that you guys can do if you are in a bind but you wanna change the shape of your nails. So I went on top with that glitter and I wanna say that glitter was very runny. It was very, very runny, just like the one from Not Polish. But you know what guys, I think the reason why they're so runny is because they're so, so, so heavily saturated with glitter. I think it's the glitter making it run, you know, because glitters are heavier than acrylic. So I believe that's why, um, so nothing against either one of these acrylic companies. It just has a lot of glitter in it and the glitter is heavy. So anyway, after I was done adding the color to all the nails, I decided to go on top with that same clear just to build it up. You guys know like the color acrylic is not going to add any strength to the nail, any structure to the nail. The only thing the colored acrylic does really is add color. That's what the colored acrylic is for. So now you have to build that nail up with the clear acrylic. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm encapsulating and building the structure. So here we are now. It's time for the bling and the blang. And blang is not a word, Nikki. Blang is not a word. I just was, mm, all right. But here we go for the bling. No blang, just the bling. And I have these beautiful ribbons. Oh my gosh, y'all. Let's just be a creep. Let's just be a creep on her page. So look, so she has the awareness ribbons, right? And then look, she also has the autistic awareness ribbons. And I really want to buy those because my nephew is autistic, guys, and I want to do a set of nails for him. So I'm definitely going to get those. But then look, she also has bling, right? In different colors and sizes and such. Oh my gosh, she has a lot of cool stuff on her website. So I'll leave the link below. And then also... Also, I have a coupon code to her site, guys. I'm really out here trying to save y'all some coins. I'm really out here trying to save y'all some money. So go ahead and visit my description box. Look at all my sites that I have listed below. Look at the coupon codes that I have below for you and use those coupon codes and save yourself some money, guys. Save yourself some money. All right, so right now what I'm doing... Okay, so first of all, that pointer finger... Mm, at first I liked it and now I'm like, eh, it, 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 it needs a little something, something. It needs a little something else. So I got to think about what else I want to do to that pointer finger because it just doesn't look quite complete. It doesn't say breast cancer survivor. So we got to fix that. I just got to think what I want to do. But the little ribbons, I love the little ribbons with just a little bling in that little hole in the circle. Oh! That just gave it a little something, something. I really love that finger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really love that finger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so that pinky looks cute too. I love the fade. I love that ombre with the little bling going down. Okay. Everything is coming together. I feel like this is so pretty so far. I know I have to put the top coat on and fix that point of finger. And then, and then it will be fitting for a queen a breast cancer survivor queen so this is what the nails look like when i was done all i did was add more bling to that pointer finger and i feel like it's a crown y'all that is a crown for all the survivors put that on your head y'all that is a crown i love it all the nails are my favorite today all of them they all are just beautiful to me to me Okay, I hope you love it too. But I absolutely, oh my God, these are adorable. This was a very fun, happy, quick set. I hope you guys really like it. I hope all the breast cancer survivors feel like I did them justice with this set. I really do. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm so glad that I made it through this set without tearing up or being a baby or anything like that. So if you like this set, give me a thumbs up. 
and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.